Welcome back once again. In this part, we will start working on our navigation view. In our previous tutorial, we designed our drawer navigation view. So open this home activity. And inside our string resource, we need to add some string name. And first one is for string navigation drawer. open and in here we need to write open navigation drawer and for second one string navigation drawer close and write close navigation drawer And now we need to implement this navigation view. So implement navigation view. Dot on navigation item selected listener. And now we need to implement first method. So that is our on navigation item selected method. Make sure that you implement this navigation view dot on navigation and import this on navigation item selected method. Now inside this on -cat method first we need to define our toolbar. So toolbar is going to be toolbar find view by id id my toolbar and now set support action bar is going to be toolbar. And toolbar dot set title we need to add a title we can call it expense manager and now we need to add our drawer layout is going to be our drawer layout is equal to find view by id r dot id dot drawer layout Now action bar Now we need to add action bar drawer toggle is toggle is equal to new action bar drawer toggle and inside this parameter we need to add this and after that drawer layout that is our object of our drawer layout and toolbar and second parameter is r dot string dot Navigation drawer open and r dot string dot navigation drawer close. Make sure that you added this string inside the inside your string folder. Otherwise, it will not work. So that is important. Okay. Now this drawer layout dot add a drawer listener. So add drawer listener and it's going to be toggle and this toggle dot sing state now our navigation view is going to be navigation view is equal to find view by id r dot id dot nav view so we need to connect our navigation view And this navigation view dot set navigation set navigation item select a listener and this now we need to implement this on back pressed and inside this on back pressed we need to add drill layout Drawer layout is equal to find view by id r dot id dot drawer layout if drawer layout dot is drawer open 
and need to add gravity compact dot int and this draw layout dot close draw and is going to be gravity compact dot int so make sure that you added this line of code that means if we and else we need to return this super dot on back pressed so we use this on back press method when we return from one activity or one fragment to another fragment so when we will click our draw layout then we would like to return and start from int now we need to create a new method and we can call it public void display selected listener and pass a integer parameter so integer is going to be item id now we need to create object of fragment so fragment fragment is equal to null now we need to add a switch case so switch item id case r dot id dot dashboard and break at another case so case r dot id dot income and break and case r dot id dot expense and break Now we need to add if condition if fragment not equal to none that means if fragment is not empty then we need to pass our fragment transaction ft is equal to get support fragment manager dot begin transaction now ft dot replace r dot id dot main frame that is the id of our frame layout and our second parameter is going to be as fragment and now ft dot commit now our draw layout is going to be draw layout is equal to find p by id r dot id dot draw layout and this draw layout dot close draw and gravity compact dot start So we added all these required field and in this on selected on navigation item selected we need to return true and now call this display selected and 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 add our method and now we need to call this item dot get item id and this item id is going to be this item id so now hit this run button so here is our emulator over there and now we can now we need to log in so we can call it agent at the rate gmail.com at the rate gmail.com and add a password we can call one two three four five six seven eight nine and click login and now we can see our home activity and we can see our navigation drawer and we can see our bottom nav bar and if we click this icon we can see our navigation drawer so that's it